I was young at that time, and I couldn't accept that France had bowed down without a fight. My father, who was killed in action in 1940, would always tell me, you know, the Russians, I saw them fighting at Verdun. Therefore, we had a debt to the Russians who came to help us in 1914 to 1917. And I knew it. I knew it so well that going to Russia for me was almost a must. So when I asked at the headquarters of General de Gaulle's Free French Forces if I would go to Russia with a squadron, I said, of course, right away. November 1942, the Stalingrad offensive began. It was very cold and life was hard for everyone. I arrived in the Russian town of Ivanova with other French pilots. There were 14 of us in total, and that's how the Normandy squadron began. We were very proud to be with the Red Army because we wanted to fight alongside Russians to do our part. And if some of us would die, well, we were pilots and warriors. We were made for it. We asked for a hard life, and we got it. When you're a fighter pilot, your job is to shoot down enemy planes. But it all goes so fast. When you're at 500 kilometers an hour, which is the minimum speed, you don't have time to think, to say the least. When under attack, we automatically start to bank. Because the most important thing to do is to watch your back. The attacks always come from behind. So you have to undertake a defensive maneuver. In other words, to make turns. That is why in the Russian Air Force, the pilots were required to train in pairs, to bank perfectly in the shortest time possible. Once the defensive turn is done and the enemy is near, there's always someone to cover your back. And I avoided being hit two or three times because my friend Joseph Risso was behind me and managed to shoot down the enemy plane which intended to hit me. In Russia, I completed almost 200 missions against enemy planes but I wasn't overly worried because I knew by heart how to do what the Brits call evasive action or tricks to get out of a nasty situation. My friend Marcel Albert, who was my squadron commander, we had some tough missions together when I could have been shot down every day. But because the two of us acted as one, my plane caught some bullets and I still have a scar on my leg, but I never let there be a chance a bullet could pierce my heart. In the Normandy group, the cohesion between pilot pairs was excellent, because we all wanted to see our families again, and the only way to do it was to win. So we did everything to approach victory day. We had a great spirit of camaraderie, and we had it with the Russians as well. We would say to them, I love you. What I admire the most about Russians is their courage. We knew cavalrymen from the Caucasus. We knew infantrymen who followed the tanks. And of course, we knew the pilots. Everybody took part in the common battle and in victory. The spirit that France also had, but rather in 1914 to 1918 than in 1939 to 1945.